From Mather Airport, I joined California State Military Department leaders on a flight to Chico, where a massive emergency operations center set up to aid in response to the campfire. Just came out to tell everybody Happy Thanksgiving. I really appreciate what you're doing. You know, this is, um, how many people have been to a state emergency before? General David Baldwin's the head of California's military department. On Thursday, he toured the camp, which is still being set up, and he met with some of the more than 700 National Guard troops aiding in the campfire relief effort. To learn more about the National Guard operations here, we drove to Paradise, where military leaders met with soldiers in the field. Troops are supporting local agencies by providing security, clearing debris to help with a delicate search for human remains, and to help decontaminate crews in the area. So some of the soldiers lost their homes? Yes, sir. And they're still working here? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I want to talk to them. Yes, In Megalia, military leaders met with soldiers from the area. How was, what was their evacuation experience? Um, <clears throat> honestly, it was, we saw smoke, uh, heard that the fire was on pens, and so that's when people started just realizing we needed to get out. Christopher Smith, a National Guard specialist from Megalia, one of the areas hit hard by the campfire. And despite the holiday and his family losing their home in the fire, he says he wants to be here for his community. You know, it's, this is something that needs to get done, something that we need to do as quickly as possible and, and get out of here so that, so that these people can return to their homes and, and get their closure. And back in Chico, soldiers were surprised with a break and a turkey dinner served by military leaders. We spoke with a soldier from Sacramento who says while he misses his family, he knows how important this mission is. The things that people have faced and dealt with, you know, that just underscores, you know, why we we're here, you know. It really motivates me knowing that, uh, you know, I'm contributing to that effort. In Chico, Giacomo Luca, ABC 10 News. Mm, they are real life superheroes. All right, thank you, Giacomo. And if you want to donate to Campfire Survivors, consider giving to California Giving. We have teamed up with our friends at Heart Threads to create this nonprofit charity that donates its funds to a number of Northern California recovery and relief groups. You can just go to abc10.com slash California giving.